Okay, up next, uh, we have a very talented lady. Uh, she's new. She's new to the stage. Sorry, I think I fucked up, but it's fine. Uh, all right, give a really, really warm welcome to the wonderful Vivian. Hi, guys. So, as she said, I'm new at this, um, so please laugh. Um, <laughs> I heard somewhere that you're supposed to start out by saying, like, something about yourself, get the audience to know you. So, first things first, uh, earlier when the guy said the thing about all you guys being beautiful, I was the one who screamed, yes, and clapped my hands really loud. That was indeed me. Um, though all of you, you guys are gorgeous, definitely. Um, also, second fact about me, um, I used to be obsessed with Corbin Blue. It's, it's fading slowly. Um, like, the way people are about One Direction was how I was. Like, no joke. Poster, poster like this big um, of Corbin Blue hung around of, of above my bed. My mom found it and got it laminated for me. Speaking of my parents, um, <laughs> I'm going to talk a little bit about Marsha and Joe. Um, those are my parents. I'm going to take you guys back 1975. Like, five. Um, this nice funkadelic band has come out with a hit, uh, Flashlight. It was very popular in those days. Um, if you don't know how it goes, I want something like this. Flashlight, down, 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 down. Flashlight, for like seven minutes. Um, and that's all there is to the song. Um, so my parents are on like their second or third date. They're in the club, they're dancing it up, you know, doing their thing. Um, and the song's going and my mom pulls from out her purse a flashlight. She turns it on and she starts waving it around the club um, to the beat of the song. And you know, some people might think this is just a normal occurrence, but I have a few questions. Um, first off, why was her purse big enough to fit a flashlight? Um, for all of the 70s, was she just carrying around a flashlight with her or was it just this particular year or was she just hoping that they played the, the song in the club that night? And lastly, why did my dad marry her? I mean, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm happy he did because I'm here, but like at the same time, that's just some ridiculousness I wouldn't want to deal with. Um, speaking of ridiculous things, my parents had a few quirky rules for me growing up. Like my mom had this rule that I couldn't watch TV on school nights, but I could watch movies, um, which didn't make any fucking sense at all. But I loved it because I would just like record my movies on VHS and then just watch them later and lie and say they were movies. Um, also, my dad had this rule about hiccuping which wasn't really so much of a rule as like a, a one-time occurrence when I think he just wanted me to leave him alone. Um, he sent me to my room for having the hiccups one time. And uh, his reason, and I quote, was that I was faking hiccups to get attention. Bullshit, bullshit. I would never, that's like the dumbest thing to fake to get attention, like out of all the things, like I can get a tattoo or something, I'm not gonna fucking have hiccups. And now it's like a family joke. And everyone's like, like whenever I get the hiccups, my sister would be like, oh, Viv, go to your room. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, I had the hiccups. I had to spend the rest of the day in my room for that shit. It was ridiculous. I didn't even get any water to finish it out. I don't know. Um, but I guess like I survived, I'm here. I've survived a lot of embarrassing moments with my parents. It's to the point where I don't really get embarrassed very much at all anymore. My mom, um, in the sixth grade. Um, I was gonna have a sleepover with my friends, so we didn't ride the bus, we waited um, outside. And uh, my mom was coming to pick us up, and she was, she was like two to three hours late. Um, happens a lot. One time she was two to three hours late because she went to go see the new Harry Potter movie. Um, so that was a good reason. This time, a little bit different. She pulls up to the school, two hours late, us outside waiting for her, uh, in a clown costume full white face makeup, like she has a, a nose, she has a curly um, rainbow wig, and she's like, Viv, get in the car! And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you can't pick me up from school in a clown costume. So, you know, I walk up to the clothes, I'm like, Mom, why are you dressed as a clown? She was like, I was clowning at this kid's birthday, like, just get in the car, we're gonna go, sorry I'm late. I'm like, you're a fucking social worker. <laughs> what? Like, when did you pick up this extra job? And even now, she has a lot of weird jobs. Like, um, I'm from the Cleveland area, so she drives out to Solon, which is about 40 minutes from where I live, and she cleans, um, like, the Solon Rec Center, like, their bathroom and stuff like that, um, from, like, 
9 p.m. to like one in the morning and she keeps saying she has insomnia and I'm like it's because you took a fucking night job in the middle of the night and then to have like two other jobs during the day for no reason she just likes doing things and picking up things to do so I mean I guess I guess I'm similar to her in that way like I've picked up a lot of things like this um, and hopefully it went well so thanks guys that's all I have <laughs>